Welcome back. We continue now with the sad news, the breaking news of the death of 54-year-old Lisa Marie Presley. The daughter of Elvis and Priscilla Presley has just died. This, of course, um, a story that we had been looking at throughout the day because there had been reports that she was quite ill. But let's check in with KTLA entertainment reporter Sam Rubin, who's interviewed Lisa Marie Presley many times. Uh, Sam, thanks for, for joining us. Appreciate it. Uh, what more can you tell us tonight? Well, I think it's, it, people are absolutely stunned, uh, Dan. Just uh, literally 48 hours ago, she was on TV screens around the country. Austin Butler, of course, the star of this Elvis movie, who seems to have been channeling Elvis, received a Golden Globe. Priscilla and Lisa Marie were in the audience in his acceptance speech. He mentioned them directly. There were cutaways to both of them who seemed very moved uh, by his remarks. Uh, two days before that, on Sunday, there was a big uh, event uh, celebrating Elvis's, what would have been Elvis's birthday, and a screening of that movie, Elvis, sort of more of the award season campaigning. She was at that, at that event uh, and spoke about how deeply moved she had been by uh, Austin's portrayal. Um, people are just absolutely shocked. I mean, again, 48 hours ago, she was in seemingly perfectly good health and at a big, you know, high-profile event. And then when you think of the, the life that she's had and uh, losing her at just 54 years of age, four marriages, including one, uh, a global uh, very brief wedding to Michael Jackson, married to the actor Nicolas Cage very briefly, um, it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's hard to process. It is sad and true and confirmed, confirmed by her mother, Priscilla Presley. But I think this happens sometimes where death comes so suddenly and it's, it's such a surprise. It, it's really, really, really hard to believe. Do we know anything more about the, the cause of death or reporting possible cardiac arrest? Uh, the, the press reports suggest that she was at her home in Calabasas, California. Uh, an employee at her home, the housekeeper, discovered her. Uh, shortly thereafter, she shared the home with a former husband, Danny Keogh. He arrived home, uh, started administering CPR as 911 was called. Paramedics arrived. Uh, additional CPR and apparently an injection of some sort to restart her heart, taken to hospital where she was put uh, into a medically induced coma and was, quote, unquote, fighting for her life, uh, a battle that obviously ended uh, tragically and a short while ago. 54 years old, born on February 1st, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, the only child of Elvis and Priscilla Presley. She was nine years old when her father died. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.